Welcome back. So last lesson I kind of showed you how to work with JSON inside uh, Postman. Now I noticed I put in some lowercase here. They can be lower uppercase. Let's just make them uppercase, all of them. And um, there we go. And let's just say, just to, so nobody flames me for this, this doesn't mean that he doesn't have any parents. It just means that there's no information about the parents. That's kind of what the null means inside uh, JSON. So it means that right now there's no information, but the property exists. So it's very important you guys understand that Null values just means that for some reason you're not getting this information right now, but there is a property about this. And that's very uh, important when we're talking object oriented that some things they need to be explained as a property, but that might not be a value. That's why the null makes sense inside JSON. But what is this program and why is it valuable? Why is Postman a program that I want to focus on? Well, we have a problem right now because in our beautiful setup that we have right now, I have my running REST API, I can actually test. Right here, I showed you guys that we could get a list of customers back. But the problem is, as default, when you're testing in a browser, when I'm running commands up here, sorry, when I'm putting in URLs up here, I can actually only do get request, right? We have get, um, put, post, and delete. So we have at least four requests that's important in this series right here. But right here, I can only test the get request. So I can test either that I actually get all customers, and I can test getting a single customer by ID but I can't test anything else in the browser. So I need a program that can fake requests for me. And there's a lot of programs that can do that out there. Firefox has Restify, I think it's called. Chrome has a Postman that we're going to use, or I'm going to use. You can also use pure old curl commands inside uh, your terminal. There is a, a lot of, even a writer has a setup nowadays where I can actually go on, in writer, I have a small REST client right here where I can go and start doing tests. So I just need a way to start testing my REST API, right? Because a REST API, again, if we jump into it, has more than just GET requests. And the problem is, again, that the GET requests, that's the only thing I can test directly from a browser without starting to code anything. So without forms, we're going to get into forms later, I'm actually, I can only work with um, GET requests right here, but I also need to test it's not enough of the get, as I said. We also need to test the post, the put, and the delete. And that's why Postman starts giving us some value. So let's jump into Postman, because here I can actually control what type of request I want to use right here. I can, I can say it's a get request, or it's a post request, it's a put, or it's a delete. And then there's a lot of other ones down here that we're not going to talk about, but that's the value of Postman. So we're going to use Postman to actually start testing our REST API. And uh, let's just get started right here by installing Postman. So Postman is an add-on and I took to Chrome and I'm just going to go here and find it, Postman. There we go. And it's right here, Google in Chrome Web Shop, there's a Postman. And if we open this guy, you'll notice that you can just install it right here and add it to Chrome. They actually also have a, a desktop version that you can go and use. But for now, I'm just going to use mine uh, in Chrome. You can go and get the desktop one if you want to. I think this one is going to be deprecated, so you might just get a link for the desktop now if you're watching this in, in the future. But you add this to Chrome pretty much just by saying add to Chrome. You'll say add app right here, and then you have it on Chrome. And it's, it's that simple. And then it launches Postman, and Postman looks like this. Now, the most important thing to know about Postman is that we're going to use it a lot now, so you're going to learn it. But the most important thing to know is pretty much just that you can set the different request methods you want to send. So this is what we call a request method, the get, post, put, and deletes. That's a method type of an HTTP request. So we can go and we can pick what method we want to use right now for testing. So in my case, if I want to kind of test that I can get all my customers from Postman now, I just put in the URL right here in the second field. Please don't do that. I use that in the second field right here, and then I just press send. And then it'll actually send a request to the backend and return the list of customers down here. That's how simple it is. So this is just like using the browser. But now we have a tool for actually testing each request. So next lesson, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how we can test the get, post, put, and delete from Postman inside our application. See you next time. Have fun.